It's 26 years since Dawn Run won today's big race on her way to champion hurdle glory at Cheltenham. Two years later, she would reach immortality in the Gold Cup. Dawn Run remains the only winner of both great races and the most successful race mare in national hunt history. Dawn Run was denied the opportunity to procreate, meeting her death at Otoy. But her owner, Charmin Hill, is survived by four children and ten grandchildren, one of whom, Emmeline, is a prominent young scientist. She's leading the world's first academic research program, dedicated to understanding the genetic contribution to athletic performance in the thoroughbred. It's all happening here at UCD, just three or four miles from Leopardstown. Emmeline, identifying a contributing gene to athletic performance in the thoroughbred, it sounds a daunting task. What's it about? Since 2004, we've been studying the genetic contributions to athletic performance in racehorses. Um, in order to do this, we've been trying to identify the DNA differences or the differences in the genetic code between different types of racehorses. DNA is the blueprint of the genome and it's made up of the letters G, A, T and C and various different combinations of these letters spell out the genetic code. You're talking about billions. Which is made up of three billion letters. So three billion of G, A, T and C in various different combinations. Within that three billion letters there are 25,000 genes and a large number of these or a proportion of these will contribute to athletic performance traits. You're calling your, your finding the speed gene. First, uh, how do you get to it from a sample of blood? We take a sample of blood, we extract the DNA and then we use various different techniques in the lab to ask the question what is the spelling of the genetic code for a particular gene and using this technology we can tell if the letter at a particular position within a gene is a G, an A, a C or a T. What the test establishes is the likely muscle mass development, is this correct? That's right. The gene that we have found to contribute to speed and to stamina in thoroughbreds is a gene that determines muscle mass development. And what we've found is that a particular type of this gene contributes to speed, another one to stamina, and another type to middle distance. So there are three different types. So you can determine the precocity of a thoroughbred and its likely optimum distance? That's correct. We have developed the test to determine what a horse is good at. Not how good it's likely to be, but what it's likely to be good at. So whether it's going to be good at running over shorter distances, middle distances, or longer distances. CCs do not win over a mile. TTs do not win under a mile. Who's going to benefit from the discovery of this breed gene? Obviously breeders, buyers, stallion managers? I think it can be utilised across the board. Um, from bloodstock agents to owners to breeders to trainers. It can, be, it can inform decision making and inform in the decision making process in a number of different areas. So for instance, for, the, for a bloodstock agent that has a particular requirement from a client to purchase uh, an early maturing two-year-old type. If that bloodstock agent knows the genetic type of the horse that he's going to buy, he can be certain that that horse is meeting the client's requirement. And for a trainer, for instance, the most obvious thing is to um, run a horse over the distance that it is genetically made for. And that's what we're doing. We're able to provide information to maximize a horse's genetic potential eliminating much of the guesswork. Now, of course, there are other contributions because genetics contributes to a proportion of the overall variance in performance. The other factors are management, training, <coughs> nutrition, and so on. The career of, of, of a scientist is a lifetime. How far on are you in this particular aspect? We're only just beginning. This is very early stages. We've come a long way since I started in 2005, started this work in 2005. The horse genome has now been sequenced, so we now know the entire three billion letter sequence of the genetic code for the horse. This enables us to, as scientists, to use new techniques and new scientific techniques to understand genes contributing to performance and indeed to health traits in the horse. So this is just the beginning.